Morning. Good morning. That's right. We're so excited that you're sharing the Prince and Princess of Wales with us. I mean, I know, Isabel, I know you're so jealous. I'm going to be in Boston. I'm going to see our girl, Kate, and I'm going to yell, Isabel and Kinsey, love you. Totally. Please do. Um, so listen, look, this is a big deal for the Waleses. This is, you know, their fourth baby, essentially, the Earthshot Prize, particularly the Prince of Wales. Um, he'll want all the attention to be very much on that. But undoubtedly, one of the reasons we're talking to you this morning is because of all the controversy around his brother. None of that relationship seems to be patched up. There's all the fear of the Netflix series, the book, and now this Ripple of Hope Award, which is taking place on the East Coast next week as well. That's right. This is really unfortunate timing for Prince William, because like you said, this is his Super Bowl. This is uh, so much work, and this is a tangible initiative that he created. In 10 years, he wants to be able to look at some of these people that they've given these grants to. He wants those things to have come to fruition. They're looking to repair the earth and repair the environment, and that's something that's really admirable. And unfortunately, we are looking at Harry and Meghan in this ridiculous award um, that the RFK Foundation is handing to them the Ripple of Hope Award, which Carrie Kennedy said was being given to them for them fighting the structural racism within the royal family. Um, and I think that that really likely hurts the royal family. I'm sure that hearing that is disappointing to them, especially when they're working with Caroline Kennedy in Boston. Uh, and uh, I know that William and Catherine are not going to let it get to them. They're going to stay focused and they're going to, you know, envelop the American American people, and they're going to, I'm sure, enjoy their time in Boston. But I truly don't think that Harry and Meghan live rent free in their head. I think that they're very focused on um, the these opportunities that they've created for themselves, and uh, I think that they're they're an inconvenience, but they're not their focus. Um, some would say, wouldn't they, that the the proof of Meghan being accepted into the royal family is proof that there isn't systemic racism. And I wonder stateside if, if the Earthshot um, event is going to start to see Team Wills versus Team Harry stateside as well. I mean, who's more popular? I think popularity wise, you you do see the prince and princess of Wales uh, have a much stronger hold here in the States. And that was not always the case. But we went through years, years now of Harry and Meghan complaining. And, and like I said about William, there is tangible change with William. He creates these initiatives where you see these results. And with Harry and Meghan, it's a lot of talk. It's a lot of complaining, podcasting about words you don't like I don't really I really don't know what what the ultimate objective is there um, and I do think that Americans are excited to see William William and Catherine and to us it's the first time we've seen real royalty in a very long time because I don't think that that's how we define Harry and Meghan